closer attack in front. She leads by five. Over time, Horse of the Year voters have shown some biases, age and gender, region, surface and distance, but occasionally a horse comes along and just shatters them. Approaching the fall of 1983, Horse of the Year seemed awfully hard to predict. Slua Gold was emerging as the top three-year-old, but he didn't win a Triple Crown race. Previous champion John Henry was mounting another bid, but wasn't his usual self after illness and a layoff. Devil's Bag has the lead by about seven. A dynamic two-year-old named Devil's Bag then surged to the front of the pack, crushing his rivals in the champagne stakes on the way to an undefeated season and a lot of derby hype. And he had a campaign that had you know, it looked like Secretariat. I remember Steve Christ was assigned to do a book on this great three-year-old campaign that we had anticipated. <laughs> Of course, no one was talking about a mare racing 4,000 miles away on the French turf. All along this running from Sun Princess and Diamond Charter in a photo finish. After losing her first three starts in France, all along upset the Arc de Triomphe at 17 to 1 on October 2nd. But she wasn't done by a long shot. Two weeks later, she was running at Woodbine in Toronto, capturing the Rothmans International Stakes. It is going to be a filly all along. Another fortnight later, all along romped by more than eight lengths in the Aqueduct Turf Classic. And on November 12th, she won the Washington DC International at Laurel Park. Four top class wins in three countries within 41 days. American voters were blown away. If you'd been talking about Horse of the Year at the start of October, you wouldn't have mentioned her. And by the end of October, you said, how can you not vote for this incredible animal? You couldn't look her in the eye and say, I'm not going to vote for you. <laughs> All Along was the first foreign bred to win Horse of the Year, the first older filly to do so since 1945. And she remains, along with Kodashan a decade later, one of only two horses to win based on a turf-only campaign. Sometimes with Horse of the Year votes, you can only expect the unexpected. I'm Scott Jagow for The Pollock Report.